Welcome to the online tutorial on EBSCOhost's ERIC, the Education Resources Information Center database. The following tutorial will provide you an overview of ERIC, its scope, and how it can help you in your research. The tutorial will also give you some basic tips on conducting a simple search using ERIC. First, we will discuss the basics of ERIC. ERIC is managed by the Institute of Education Sciences, a division of the U.S. Department of Education. ERIC includes diverse material on all aspects of education research including research documents, journal articles, technical reports, program descriptions and evaluations, and curriculum materials. Its index contains over 1 million bibliographic records and it's updated monthly. It also includes a thesaurus of specialized vocabulary. Is ERIC the right database for your research needs? ERIC may be of interest to teachers, librarians, education policymakers, instructors, students in teacher preparation programs, parents, the media and business communities, and the general public. So now that we've covered the basics and key search features of ERIC, let's try some searches. When you sign into the database using your library card number and password, you'll be directed to this page. This page should look familiar to you if you've used other databases distributed by the EBSCO company, such as Academic Search Premier or Business Source Complete. We're going to try a basic search, so for now, we'll leave these search options as they are. We'll look more closely at these options later. To do a basic search in ERIC, you can simply type in a word or phrase related to your topic. Remember, if you want to search for an exact phrase, such as Flag Day, use quotation marks around the phrase. For this example, let's imagine we're looking for information about horses. To begin, let's type the word horses into the search box. You can see that we're being given suggestions for search terms, so if you see a better match for your topic, click to select it. When you've entered your search terms, hit the search button. Now we see the results of our search. Here on the left, it tells us there are 636 articles that match the keyword horses, and here they are in a numbered list. The database sorts the list into relevance order, based on which articles it thinks will be most useful to you. You can reorder the list by date, starting with the newest article or the oldest, or alphabetically by author or the article's source. 636 is too many articles to read, so we need to narrow down our results. The tools in the sidebar on the left will help narrow down your results to the most useful articles. The full text checkbox will limit the results to articles that are immediately available through the database, either in PDF or HTML form. If you need information right away, selecting full text only might be a good option. The peer review checkbox will limit results to sources that use a peer review system. For more information about peer review, see the website listed on your screen. You can narrow down your results based on how old the articles are using this slider. Click and drag to change the date range. If you click on the Show More link, you'll see the same search options we saw on the home page. If you know the exact article you need to find, you can enter the journal name or ERIC number here. You can also limit your search more generally by publication type, language, or intended audience. Back of the results page, there are three more options for narrowing the list. Source types, subject, and publication. Limiting by subject might be useful if you want to focus on a level of education, such as elementary and secondary. For this example, let's change the date range to articles published since 1990. Don't forget to hit Update. We're specifically interested in the animal, so select the subject and hit Update again. 17 results is a much more manageable number, so let's look at an article from our list. Click on the title to see information about an article. On this page, you can see the article's title and information about where it came from. Here's the author's name, the title of the journal, and information about the volume and issue number. We can also see that this journal is peer-reviewed. The abstract shows a short summary of what the article is about. You can see that some of this information is hyperlinked. Click on any of these links to begin a new search. Look for more articles by this author, more from this journal, or more from these subjects. If you like what you see, there are several options for saving or sharing the article. You can share or save citation information by printing or emailing it. This won't save the entire article, just the information you see here about where it came from. If you need to return to this page, make sure you save the permalink. The link in your browser may time out, but this permalink won't change. You can also click Cite to pull
pull up formatted citations for different citation styles, or export the citation to a citation manager such as Zotero or EndNote. If a full text copy of the article is available, you'll see a link in the left sidebar to the PDF or HTML copy. You might also see a hyperlink at the bottom of the description linking you to the ERIC database. Now we're back at the results list. Some of the results in the list don't have full text available, but they might still be useful. If you're interested in reading the full text of an article that is only available in abstract form, ask a librarian to place an order via interlibrary loan. To make your interlibrary loan request easier, you can save all the interesting articles to your folder. Click on the sign in link at the top of the page and create an account. You can use the same account for all EBSCO databases. Go ahead and sign in. Use the Add to Folder button to collect articles that you want to keep, and then click on the folder link to see what you've saved. If you're signed in, this list will be saved until you delete it. Like with an individual article, you can use a tool to generate citations for your saved list. You can print, email, or save the list of citation information. You can also export your selections directly to a citation manager. If you have more questions or need further assistance with using the ERIC database, please contact Mark Holman, Sitting Bull College's Reference Librarian. Thank you for watching this tutorial and good luck with your research.